See, that's better. Okay. Hello to the smoky episode. <laughs> Not. Oh, here we go. Not while because my footage is actually going to be on fire. Well, I mean, a lot more than usual. <laughs> uh, but because it's actually super smoky. Like, the, the Alberta is on fire. So up across here, usually you see mountains and the lake. But nothing. Nada. Too smoky. I mean, you can see there to the right. It's just super smoky. Alona is with me. I don't even know if you can tell. Because she lays down behind me on the platform. Oh, uh -huh. I know, I'm super stoked too. She seems to be enjoying it quite well. Uh, it has been almost one and a half weeks again since I took her with me the last time. So it's it's insane how time flies. It honestly is. Good girl. That's a good job. Uh, but I've only actually taken her one more time without you guys. So it's today, it's officially the third time only, believe it or not. But she's starting to get used to it. Like she's still sniffing, she seems excited. She's still like until she's on the platform and we're rolling, she doesn't really know how to feel about it. Yet. <laughs> but we're working on it. Like I have no real destination today whatsoever. I'm just cruising around. See if I can like just take as many curves and corners and different speeds with me. Oh see that was good, Luna, good show. So that she just gets used to as much as possible so that we can actually go on rides with her eventually. I can see her on my side mirror, that's why I keep looking down there. I'm not sure if you can tell or not. I don't even know if you see her or not. I have no idea. Do you? I almost don't think so. She's just like completely sheltered behind me. Ooh, there were friends, Luna, hey? So many friends. But now she's actually just chilling there and it makes me so freaking happy. Such a good girl. So what's new? Uh, not much. Not much really. Since we last talked. Um, work is crazy. It's getting really really hot now. So we are, like, I mean you guys already know that if you watched my previous videos. Um, we are in the 30s Celsius. And the sun is incredible. Honestly, to be fair, the summer was really, it took a while to arrive. But also not really, because apparently we're 15 degrees Celsius above normal average. So I'm not sure what's true and what's not true at that point anymore. But the sunshine for sure was missed. So I'm glad that this is, the sun is back, even though it's covered in smoke right now. But it's still kind of pretty. You can smell it a little bit. Uh, but apparently Kamloops got it really bad. Apparently their air quality is horrific. Which is just terrible. But we're still good. I mean, until it actually rains, there's literally nothing we can do. Or the wind is kind of blowing it away. Okay, I will go on the highway in a little bit. In a few seconds here. And speed up and accelerate and see how she does. But it's just a, like a short piece that goes fast. So for me, that would be perfect. So if she gets stressed too much, we don't have to go stay on it for too too long. She's starting to get used to her goggles too, which is funny. <laughs> They're just the cutest thing still. Oh, you did a good girl. Okay, here we go. Just sneak by here. Perfect. Okay, hold on tight, Lona. Between looking for traffic and making sure Luna is okay, that's quite stressful. Oh, she's doing good. Great job, baby. See, and that was our end. See, we're already slowing down again. Good job. <laughs> Actually, let's go towards Shannon Lake. There was a little bit of curve but less speed, that might be not a bad thing. 
again, still just trying to get her used to it. I don't want to overdo it. I can just feel how she's lovers all over my back. <laughs> it's getting a little bit soaked. And I want to break a little bit on the slower side so, so she doesn't slide up front as much. Okay, that's where I want to turn left. Good girl. <laughs> Good job, baby. Uh, okay. Oh, you guys are all cricket. Why don't you say anything? <laughs> hmm, I can smell the smoke. That's the weirdest feeling, I tell you guys. Before I came to Canada, or actually, matter of fact, before I moved to British Columbia, I had no idea that Canada has so much issue and trouble with wildfires. Really, I had no idea. So that was definitely an eye-opener and for me it was actually pretty easy to get used to. We only had one big or bigger scare um, that was back in 2021. We were just sitting on our little balcony in our apartment and had just put a, a beer can chicken on the barbecue and we saw the fire coming across like over the hill. I see if I can still find the footage and plant it in right here. <laughs> and like how it's coming just down the hill. It's the spookiest thing. The spookiest thing. So we, re we really didn't know what to do, but we also said by now, like the, the entire town of West Bank was still between us, like from the fire to our apartment. So we said, if it's all gonna burn to hell, the entire town still has to burn first. So if there's no evacuation note yet, we don't have to worry about it. We still worried about it. <laughs> we couldn't really go to sleep, really. Um, but it was fine. It ended up being just okay. A couple of houses and properties were smoked, uh, but by far not as many as they anticipated, which is good. Like, still bad, but you know what I mean. Lona's still chilling behind me. That's good. Like, she's still late. The last time she was sitting up, laying down, sitting up, laying down. Um, oh, good job. And now she's laying all together. She doesn't even sit up, which is perfect because it makes it for me easier too, especially around the corners because I can feel her weight as much because we have a so lower center of gravity. Oh, if it keeps going like that, we're gonna be golden. No pun intended. <laughs> Gold retriever, you know? <laughs> I can feel her slobber. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> like almost everywhere but that's all right i mean i'm not really wearing my proper riding gear either but it's just too warm but we actually that's a good point because that was another reason why i haven't been riding with her for a good one and a half weeks because the sun was burning down the sun was burning down it was too hot and i just actually got the roughly sun cover in what was was it thursday not quite a week ago I don't even remember. No, Monday. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my shit. But I only got it like just a few days ago too. And if it, the sun is burning down that much, I don't really want to ride with her because I don't want her to get a heat stroke also, right? Like that's one thing I want to make sure she's safe of. And on top of it, make sure I make do enough breaks, give her enough water, and just checking in with her, right? Until she gets used to it. Well, even then afterwards, she got used to it. If it gets too hot, it's not fun. It's not fun for us either if it gets too hot, right? So yeah, that was another reason why I didn't ride with her so much yet. And like, I don't really want to put the sun cover on her before she's comfortable without it. Because like I told you guys, she's a chicken about just about everything. Oh, she's doing so good. And you guys are all hanging in there with a battery life too, which is perfect. Ona, are you ready for some highway? Looks like it. Oh, there you can tell too how smoky it is. Holy smokers. Good job. I don't know if you can see her or not. <laughs> She's just chilling. Hey, in there. Cuddling with my back a little bit. Trying to get in all the sniffs. <laughs> I'm so proud of her. I honestly am. Like until we actually had her for the first test when I have no I had no idea how she would react if all this money and time spent on the platform was a total 
waste of time or not? We had no idea. But that means we can go on tours. I mean, again, we're still here draining a little bit more. Like, we have barely gone an hour with her on the... No, actually, it's wrong. I've been a couple of hours now. Back and forth, yeah. No, a few hours. But, I mean, that's still nothing in comparison to going for an entire day ride or weekend ride. Okay, she's doing great. <laughs> she's trying to catch up all this, all the scents. Can you see that? That's cute. <laughs> I'm so fucking proud of her. No, no, she said I am. I was breaking too much. She got nervous. Good girl. I can feel her slow bar all over my shoulder now. <laughs> now that she's sitting. Yeah, dude, you're staying in there. Oh, such a good girl. Oh, that's too funny. She just looks over my shoulder. And the brow says, drools over, all over my shoulder. <laughs> she seems to be still enjoying it. You're almost done, Bebe. Oh, there again, you can see how smoky it actually is. Wow, sir, that's the bridge, the one and only bridge in Kelowna. And you can see nothing, nothing after downtown, holy. Woo. Okay, but you know what? That's it now, because my battery is just about out. And I don't want to stop just yet. So, as always, it was fantastic to have you guys with me again. And let me know what you think about this entire Lona on the motorcycle adventure. <laughs> If we have any destinations where I should go first with her. Like, I mean, longer trips, not just within town, of course. <laughs> but that's it. Hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this video. If you did so, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Because the fun is just starting. It really is. <laughs> okay, until next time. Hope you guys have fun. Bye!